going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to edit an AMV in Vegas Pro 14. Okay, so as you can see I have Vegas Pro 14 up and this is the video you saw at the start. This is the edited version of what it looks like. You can see it's actually very basic. Uh, it's just splitting, uh, timing things right, a little bit of fades, zooming in and out, an overlay and adding some color corrections and color curves. So what you saw in that video was from this clip here. It's quite long, I think it's a six minute clip and I was just looking through and picking little parts. For example, we started off the video with this part here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is showing you how to do some different types of zooms. So for example, this one here or this specific clip, let's say we want it to slowly zoom in to both of them. So we come to the event pan and crop and this is what the event pan and crop is. I recommend only having lock aspect ratio checked. Then make sure sync cursor is checked down here. And then you choose, do you want it to zoom all the way in at the end of the clip or do you want it to be like midway or something? So if you pick midway, you'd simply drag this down and of course make sure they're both still in shot. And then this is what this will look like. It's gonna zoom into them like that. Or if you drag this to the end, this is what this one will look like. So it's more of a slower zoom and then it goes off screen like that. Another zoom you can do in AMVs, which I recommend, is where you will zoom in and you will also tilt at the same time. So I'm gonna to come to this keyframe again. I'm going to zoom into, I actually zoom into him this time, just him. And we're gonna tilt it like that and then zoom in a bit more. And there we go. So now if I X out of this and play this through again, you can see we have that. And then if we press Control C, Control V, we can come to the event pattern crop on the second one and we can do the exact same effect, but this time on the girl. Now, I don't know what AMV this is. I literally downloaded one because I've, I don't know anything about, uh, well, animes. So yeah, I just downloaded a random one. So I put that there now. So now we have like a face off. So it's gonna show the, the guy like that and then it's gonna switch to the girl like that. So it creates more of a dramatic effect and you can imagine having some good music to that as well. Another thing I will show you is how to use the overlays. Now overlays are very simple and it's this right here. So you can see this stuff that is coming up on the screen. So I'll use it right here on this clip we just created to swap the transitions. Now you'll see in my projects media, I actually have 20 different things I can use for an overlay. Now. I uh, will link some packs in the description and I downloaded a pack myself. And right now I'm gonna be using this one. So I'm gonna drag and drop this on up here. Now you'll see if I play this through, it adds these effects. Definitely good for AMVs and I definitely recommend them. So you can have that there and just trim this down. And the important thing you need to remember, when you put this on a track above the video, you need to come to compositing mode and make sure it's set to overlay. If you keep it at source alpha, you'll see it'll just stay with what the original thing is. But if we change it to an overlay right here, we're now able to see the video and we also have the overlay on top and it makes it look much more better. And you don't have to just have one overlay, you can have two overlays. So for example, I'm gonna add some smoke now. It needs to be on another video track. So up here, I'm gonna put it. And again, make sure this is set to overlay. Now if I, well actually I'm gonna set this one to screen. So now if I play this through, you can see the smoke is there and again causes more dramatic tension between the two because they're about to have a fight. So the next part I'm going to be showing you is the impact hit right here. And when that hit, I also made the song drop at the same time. And the way you do that is very simple. Of course, you just line it up to the where the song will drop. But I also added some color to it for a couple of frames. And the reason I done that is because it emphasizes the hit. So the way you can add some color, you're gonna head over to video effects. If you don't see it, then come to view, windows layout and select default layout. And from video effects, you'll see, I was using glow uh, last, but what I recommend using as well, you have color correctors to use, you have color uh, corrector secondary, again, it's really good. You can invert the colors, color curves, I used uh, blues, infrared, I think I used night as well. And then of course what you just saw, I did use glow. And on top of that you can come over to film effects and I use this one right here throughout it. So you'll see the effects I just showed you I used them. So right 
here I used a color curve. I think it was infrared. Then I went made it go back to normal. Then I used uh, blues and yellows from color curves. Then here, I'm not too sure which one this was. This was the inverted color from color corrector secondary. And here was the old film look, which is this one right here. So if I just show you, is this one. What I've done though, usually it comes out like this. It changes it to gray. I just turned that off. And then here is where I used a glow. As you can see, I put the intensity up a bit and the glow percent all the way up. Again, it's a bad guy. Put the glow percent all the way up. Put it as a red because it represents bad person. And that's the effects I actually recommend you using. And a good thing about them, you can animate them as well. So I will show you that right now. So we have, of course, the bad guy. And what I'm gonna do is go to go to the glow. I'm gonna go to red and drag it on. So now this is what we have. As you can see, the sky's red, he's red, and it makes it look better. I will always put the glow percent or intensity up just a bit, just to make it look a bit better. And then for her, because I guess she's the good girl, I guess. I don't know anything about this AMV. I'm just judging by the way the characters look. I'm going to put her percent in green and her percent up as well. Like so. And then when we zoom into her, she's going to have green around her like she's the good person. So now we have red for a bad guy and we have green for the good person. And of course, the way, like I said, you can animate them. So if I come back to this, you can see here, we can animate them. So for example, the intensity. If I drag this keyframe off a couple of frames, and then I bring to the first keyframe, turn the intensity down, you'll see this is what will happen. The red will like fade in. And to me, that actually looks better. So from normal to that, smoke and red, and that looks really good. Now you'll see all these orange things here that I done and these are known as markers. I'm going to play this through for you. So the reason I lay down the markers, you're hearing the song every time there's a marker, there's also a click to the song as well. Now the way you lay them down is very simple. So I'm just going to delete all of these. And this is what you do. This is how I do it anyway. I'm going to play it through and each time I hear a click, I'm going to press M on my keyboard to lay down a marker. So let's do it. Okay, so as you can see, I was probably more precise on that one than the other one before. Every time there is an orange marker, that lets me know there's a click. And you'll notice every time there is a click, I change uh, the way it was or what it was showing. So for example, I started off with both of them. Then when a click happened, I went to her. Another click, I went to him. Another click, I went to her running. Another click, I went to him again. And then this was, this part right here, I found some in midway of the actual whole scene up here. And I added that there because I wanted the drop to be when the first hit took place. So I just added these in as fillers. And this part here, again, this was during the fight, but I took it and just put it into this part and extended it out. Added an overlay. And then when it dropped, that's when the first hit took place. And that is why I then put this effect. So you'll see before I put the color curves, that's the original and with the color curves it looks so much more better and another thing I recommend if you are going to be putting on any effects don't keep them on too long you'll notice this one right here I kept this on for just under a second or just over a second here and then it went back to normal and then it went to another color curve and then back to normal and then to a color curve this one's probably my favorite one as well now another thing I'll show you is how to do slow motion so I'm gonna go here and get where the first hit took place and put it up here. So he's running at her and the hit is right there. So I'm gonna go by frames by pressing the right and left arrow keys on my keyboard. The hit is here. I'm gonna go play it, pause it there, S on my keyboard and move this to the left. Holding control, I'm gonna drag this out and this is gonna put it in slow motion. Now it's not gonna be the smoothest slow motion unless you download an AM or an anime that is in 60 FPS that will give you the smoothest slow motion. So I'm going to play this through now. 
as you can see there is more of a hold to it and there that'll be a good effect to keep or to show how strong the impact was so now if I play this through there's a hold on that hit and to me that honestly looks better and this is something you can do as well now of course the video effects I showed you they're just video effects I would use however there's nothing wrong with experimenting and using other things as well for example TV simulator is a good one to use so I'll drag and drop this on right here and you'll see this is what we're gonna get so uh, aperture grill I'm gonna put down the interlacing I'm gonna put down as well just a little bit the scan phasing I'm gonna put up like this because we're on an impact hit here I'm gonna keep this one up a little bit of static and you'll see the impact this has just made just like that so we've just made them hit and then we've added some TV simulator then they go back to normal and to me that makes the or the impact of the collision look more powerful so one more time I'll play it through that is what we get so it's like a pause in the middle even though it's supposed to be slow motion and then you can see she's going flying off now you'll see right here he hits and she just dodges so I'm gonna press S on my keyboard here to split it and then right where he hits press S again I'm gonna hold control and extend this out to slow motion and you'll see this will make it look more uh, of an impact as well so just like that and I'll also zoom into this right on to where he punched which of course is right here then play this through one more time you can see it happens very quick but it zooms in and shows the impact of the punch like that now one more transition I would recommend to use is something known as a spin transition. I've made a separate tutorial on how to do that effect and I will link it in the description. The reason why I won't show you in this video is simply because it does take a bit more time and it'll be a bit more long for this tutorial. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.